Talkers, welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy 2023. Welcome to the new year. I can't believe this video is going to be my first of the new year, but it actually kind of makes sense considering what a messy schedule we've had over the past couple of years. Um, I hope you all had a really good reigning in of the new year if you celebrate the new year January 1st, and if you don't, I hope you also had a great day. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for coming back. This is another year, another year of mess on this channel. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. So, Jeffree Star, the Jeffree Star, yep, <laughs> is exposing the fact that the Illuminati were trying to kill him. And that the Illuminati were trying to take him out. And then he also goes on to say that the people that he used to be friends with have no souls. And now he's being dead serious here, by the way. So, we're gonna get to a little bit of context, then read out his statements, and... First of all, I just find it so funny that people are taking this seriously and aren't taking this as just yet another ploy from uh, Mr. Jafar Star uh, to get any sort of controversy. And I find it so incredibly funny that these, like, washed up, okay, I'll, I'll not be that rude, these celebrities who are past their peak, is that nicer, um, go through a scandal that kind of pushes them, you know, off their peak a little bit, which would be Jeffree Star in 2019, and then 2020, the scandal came around with everything, and it kind of pushed him off that all-time high. People go through things like that, through mainstream celebrities, YouTubers, Viners, TikTokers, all these different people, right? What do they blame it on? Do they blame it on the fact that they did stuff that kind of made people not like them? That they did stuff that made networks not want to work with them, publications not want to work with them, advertisers pull from them? Do they blame their actions? Or, option B, do they blame the Illuminati? That one! We've seen this time and time again, where especially mainstream celebrities, so Jeffrey's really groundbreaking here for being one of the first YouTubers to do it, go through something that make the general public not like them anymore, and they end up blaming the Illuminati for being the reason that they're not popular anymore, other than the fact that they just pushed their limits a bit too much and the general public weren't loving it. So, if you're on your phone through the past couple days, you may or may not know what has been going on with Greta Thunberg and... Andrew Tate. Sorry, I had to remember the name there because I'm not a fucking misogynistic teen boy who's obsessed with him. So, Andrew Tate is a person on social media who is basically just, like, the worst. Uh, we're not really going to get into it, but just so sexist, misogynistic, all these different things. Basically, like, the alpha male, and his audience have been built off of this, like, alpha male, like, man, you know, strong, woman not strong kind of model. And that, you know, he has all these cars, all these money, basically all the things that a man with a small penis will flaunt. And Greta Thunberg responded to a tweet from Andrew Tate that basically said, it was like, hey, I have like 33 cars, like they have such high emissions, blah, 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 blah. Basically flaunting the fact that, you know, Greta is caring for the planet. This is Greta's full thing. We love her. And that he's like, fuck you. I have so many cars. They all have the highest emissions and I'm getting more. So Greta responded to his tweet and was like, oh yeah, like, cause Andrew was like, I'll email you with all of the, you know, the emissions I'm letting off, like the exact number or whatever. And Greta was like, sure, email me. And here's my email at smalldick at getalife.com or something. It was like a really funny tweet. It was really unexpected of Greta and it got like two or three million likes on Twitter. So then Andrew responds with this video where he is basically talking shit about Greta and in the video a pizza box comes out and this pizza box basically exposed that he was in a certain country that he could then get arrested in. So his response to Greta, trying to one-up Greta, while having like a pizza box in frame, ended up being the reason that he was able to be arrested. So it was Greta and the pizza box that then kind of circled back to getting him arrested. Now, he got arrested and a lot of people were talking about the fact that Andrew Tate talks about the fact that, you know, he talks about things that media don't like to hear and that, and you know, all these different political parties don't want to hear or whatever. And so everyone was saying that the Illuminati were trying to get him. So Jeffree Star then uses this as his moment to be like, oh, the Illuminati also want me, guys. They also want me. That's the context. I know it took a couple minutes. That is the entire context of this. We're not going to get to the tweets, but that's what we're dealing with here. All right. 
All right, here we go. So, Jeffrey says Twitter, I have to look on an incognito, there we go, got the word, right? incognito tab, because Jeffree Star has me blocked on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, both of my Twitter accounts, and my burner account on Instagram, <laughs> if you find it, my two Twitters, my Facebook, and my Snapchat. Love you, Jeff. Oh, and on YouTube, too. So, it's it's a task to kind of see his posts, so bear with me. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that it says, sign into Twitter. So, here we go. We have, first of all, Merry Christmas, everyone. I got myself four camels. This isn't part of it. I just think it's funny to include. I got myself four camels to add to the hashtag Staryak Ranch and join my family and soon join your plate. Sorry. I'm already obsessed with these super smart, long-legged, gentle creatures. And this time next year, he'll be like, I'm so obsessed with these long-legged, gentle, delicious, delicious, meaty creatures. So here we see Jeffrey with his new food. And then we have, so here's when we go. <clears throat> so it took him five days to write this, from the 25th to the 30th. So again, the Greta thing happened, the Andrew Tate thing happened, and he made it about himself. What a crazy fucking year. I escape, sorry, I'm, I need to be able to say it without laughing. I'm so annoyed at the general public for getting this tweet, 50,000 likes, 90,000 likes, 30,000 likes, and then he starts tweeting um, about the, you know, the demons that he used to have or whatever. This is 20K likes, and then he tweets back to his normal stuff, and it's back down to like 5,000 likes. But here's what I'm annoyed at. People are so stupid with the commercialization of the Illuminati and eat it up every time. I see so many YouTube videos that are exposing celebrities in the Illuminati and I'm like, please, anyone who absorbs this content, I'm not gonna make fun of you. But I'm thinking something in my head. Like, y'all, let's raise the intelligent levels a little bit, please. Do I? Do I think that there's such thing as the Illuminati? Yeah! Do I think that it's this, like, commercialized, come to the dark side if uh, Demi Lovato and, and we'll make you sell more records, Lady Gaga? Jeffree Star, come to the Illuminati and we'll make you sell more at Morphe. Shut the fuck up! You're so stupid! You're so stupid! Anyone who believes that, you're so stupid! Oh my god! If you believe that that is what, like, the Illuminati is, you're so fucking stupid! So whenever I see tweets like this doing well, it's not me being better that Jeffrey got a tweet doing well, because please, we know, whew, if he really needed one. But, like, I'm just, like, his other tweets in comparison to stuff like this really goes to show, like, how, like, little people pay attention to him whenever he gets, like, 5,000 likes versus, like, 80, 90,000 likes, but the fact that people eat up this fucking Illuminati shit, and this is like the, the thing that Shane Dawson started on YouTube as well, like Illuminati and stuff like that, and it's like, I fed into it at stage, but I'm not a fucking child anymore, I'm 20 years old, and I see through this, like, the Illuminati want me, they want me, Jeffrey, nobody wants you, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so angry when people like Illuminati, Illuminati, like Shane said. Ah! What a crazy fucking year. I escaped the Illuminati in 2021 and they still haven't killed me. Every day I wake up grateful. What do you want? You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Because you're not getting one. In 2020, I was going to expose everything. Who's the Illuminati? Toddy Westbrook? James Charles? You were going to expose what? The Krabby Patty recipe. What? Morphe's discount code? Their staff discount code? The Toddy Westbrook filmed another video on James we didn't see? Fuck me. The Illuminati waiting for the Bye Sister video to drop. Mission successful. This is like people who are so obsessed with thinking that they are interesting or important. In 2020, I was going to expose everything, dot dot dot. In a matter of days, the Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career. Is Shane Dawson the entire fucking, what is it? Hollywood elite? Jeffrey, your career was ruined by things you did. My neighbors right now. 
What's that little boy? Oh, he's back filming YouTube videos again. He's screaming daily. We had a, a couple of weeks of him not being in the apartment. It was bliss. Sorry, y'all. The Hollywood elite tried to ruin my entire career, villainized me, and flooded the news with lies to discredit me. The news in question, spill sesh. The Illuminati contacting spill sesh. <laughs> Them both being anonymous. Hey, is this spill sesh? It's like, fuck me. If you guys only knew the truth about what they're doing to Britney and Kanye. So, we have Jeffree Star comparing himself to Britney Spears. Now, I can see the Kanye West comparisons in, in a couple different ways. From content you have both made and said online. But to compare yourself to Britney Spears, get the fuck out of here. And also, this is just, the reason this is the only tweet that did exceptionally well is because there's a mention of Britney and Kanye, Jeffree Star, like... That's what people are engaging for, and the fact that, listen, I don't give a shit what people say about Kanye, so I'm leaving him out of this, but, like, to bring Britney into this again is just so fucking annoying, especially, I went on a rat about this, but it makes me really annoyed and angry to see, like, conspiracy theory videos about Britney Spears on YouTube, and, like, where's Britney now, and what's, what's happening to Britney, all these videos on TikTok, and it's all talking about, like, her posts on social media. One of two things. This woman was highly medicated with like lithium for 11, 12, 13, all these different years and was an active um, smoker on and, on and off throughout the, con or the conservatorship and, and at times would just have to go cold turkey off nicotine because her family would decide that she's not allowed to smoke anymore. She was never allowed to drink alcohol. All these different things she wasn't allowed to do, but she was heavily medicated for so many years and has probably gone cold turkey on a lot of these really intense drugs. And the ramifications for how to bring yourself back into reality and all those different things is crazy that I can't believe that, like, we're back at the stage of talking about Britney Spears conspiracy theories and all these different dumb shit about Britney when it's like, please let this woman have her fucking moment. Oh my god, weren't we all rooting for her to get out of the conservatorship? Yeah, she's out of it now, or at least a lot out of it than what she was. She has to go cold turkey on hardcore fucking drugs she was getting against her will. She has so many new responsibilities. She has finally access to social media. They're, they're finally in control of what she's able to do on social media. So whenever I see all these fucking... It's mostly on TikTok. I'm, I get so fucking annoyed at it. Where it's like, let the woman have her time. If you don't like the social media posts, yeah, some of them are fucking weird. Unfollow her. Let her do whatever she wants. I can't even imagine the like what the fucking chemicals in your brains do whenever you're so reliant on medication for so long and then you just are off them or at least switch to something of a of a high less degree. Like it makes me so fucking annoyed to see these like Kanye, I get it. I get it. Fuck Kanye. But like with the Britney thing, it really I have a hair right here. I got it. I'm just gonna assume I got it. It makes me really annoyed. Leave the woman alone. Jeffrey, you too. Anyone who challenges the system gets eliminated. So why haven't you got eliminated then? Why have you not got eliminated then? Okay, anyway. So, then he says, I still have a soul. I can't say that about a lot of the demons that I used to surround myself with. The demons in question. James Charles, Nikita Dragon, Tana Mojo, like, blah, 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 corny, 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 like, Mentally living in 2019. Grow up, Jeffrey. Like, and then we have the next day. Good morning. How are you? Inner peace and happiness is truly priceless. And then we go on to him posting nudes. This is just... Boo! I'm throwing tomatoes at you, Jeffrey. Boo! Leave Brittany out of it, too. Boo! The Hollywood elites tried to take me out because I was going to expose something great. What? That shitty second palette with Shane? The way you and Shane and all of your series together were talking about how people were out to get you because you were making a fucking makeup palette. Corny, corny, corny. Boo. Loser. Anyway. Muckers, let me know your opinion. We'll talk below. And who knows, Mucker? Maybe this video will get the Illuminati to take me. Take me, Illuminati. Take me. Corny. Corny.